No machine will grow clover. It'll set it all right, but it won't manage it. It won't make the decisions. Just a bit of a background to the farm and clover. Um, 10, 15 years ago, there was always some clover in the mix that we bought when we were reseeding. We had a reseeding plan on the farm of 10 or 12% of the farm being reseeded every year, and the clover was going in. Then maybe five, six years ago, we started putting in um, only two varieties in our mixes, and we weren't as concerned on this farm as with clover. But in the back of it, I had clover on some of the paddocks and grazing management and low, low cover grazings and not cutting for silage, that clover was staying with me and just kind of left it, you know, that was grand. Then maybe two years ago we were down at Moore Park and I just dawned that, you know, there was a big risk to our farm, maybe with the way the environment was going and everything, if we didn't get more into thinking about clover and putting some more in. So um, that's what kind of brought it back into focus and we said we we're going to go for over sown clover. And it does fit in for me with grazing low covers and that's, that's a great um, yardstick or a stick to keep us in line um, for, because that's good grazing management anyway, whether there's clover in it or not, grazing low covers is what we want to be doing. I think we can have clover established in all the milking platform here over a period of time. And that can reduce fertilizer uh, requirement of N. Um, we can bring it back maybe 100 um, kgs a hectare, which is a big amount of money. And it's without giving up on production that we can grow as much here with, with clover and reduce nitrogen so that we can hold on to profits by having that clover in. If we can grow something in this field and replace nitrogen being brought from some part of the world to here um, by just growing it here ourselves, like that's, that's an awful big thing for, for the country. We can grow grass, now the challenge is to grow grass and clover. We're having an upcoming walk um, on the 7th of April. I think it's a great timing because um, it's the end of the first rotation, start to the second one, and that's critical to, you know, to see on the farms. We'll have a board on the production of the cows, what they're doing, what our system is. Um, it's a very simple system here. We focus on the things that make money for us. The clover walk will clearly demonstrate that clover is something that needs to be managed. And you need to listen to the guidelines and um, the expert advice that is there on clover. No machine will grow clover. It will set it all right, but it won't manage it. It won't make the decisions. So I think for anyone that will come on the day, they'll see the decisions that were made here by following the guidelines. We've done it in other things on the farm here, sex semen and other things, and we followed the guidelines with them. For me, Clover is the same. You follow the advice that's there. It's been done in the research places and on farms. And uh, if you stick to the guidelines, you'll establish Clover. It's the farmer has to make the decision for Clover. Everyone is uh, more than welcome. We have an open invitation to all to come and see what they, what they think on Clover and get a plan in place themselves and get your things in order.